Hey, how's it going guys? Well, the subject of this video is beer. Good old beer. This is a, uh, a beer that I've really been loving lately. This is Hop Knife by uh, Trogues. I love Trogues uh, Brewing Company. They do a lot of different uh, craft beers. They're located in, I believe, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, but they're one manufacturer that I happen to see all over the place. Anywhere I go to get beer, there's Trogues. Uh, and they have a lot of good offerings too. But uh, the subject of the video, like I said, is beer. And I want to talk a little bit about beer, beer in my channel, uh, beer in my life. You know, I just want to have a little discussion for the people out there who do enjoy beer. Uh, anyone who's been watching the channel for a long time, you've noticed that I started doing uh, beer reviews pretty much every Friday, except for the ones that I forgot. And then they go up on a Saturday or Sunday. I did that for a while. Um, I think, you know, generally speaking, I really, really enjoyed it. It's something that I stopped doing uh, for a long time because, number one, it's expensive. Um, I don't just like any beer. I like high quality beer. I love craft beer. Uh, and that gets very expensive. Anyone who's into the hobby understands that there's a lot of money put forth and you're literally pissing it away. <laughs> there's no, no two ways about it. Uh, goes in, goes out. It's not an investment. It's just something you buy because you enjoy it. Um, but there's nothing to show for it later. So it's not something I, I generally like to spend a lot of money on. Uh, I have spent you know, a good amount of money on it before. Uh, I do have a bunch of beer that um, I'm aging because it's very interesting to me. Uh, just like you know, aging tobacco or aging, aging anything else, I like how flavors meld, they change. You know, I like that experience. So I do have a little bit of a cellared uh, collection of beer. Um, as far as saving beer and aging it, generally speaking, you want it to be above 8% uh, ABV. Uh, when you get below 8%, I mean, yeah, you can age it, but generally speaking, it doesn't do very well. It's the ones that are boozy, you know, the, the big, huge beers are the ones that, that usually get better with time. You know, it just depends. Things like this, like an IPA, even though it says it's a harvest ale, this is, you know, pretty much just a, uh, a session IPA. You want to drink them as fresh as possible, but some of the, the dippers, the double IPAs or triple IPAs, I do uh, have a couple of those that are aging as well because I'm curious to see what they will be like, uh, you know, a year, two years, three years from now. But uh, anyway, the point here is that I used to do these beer reviews all the time and I used to post them. Um, but I don't, I haven't done it in a long time. I actually have about 15 or 16 that are pre-recorded uh, that I just have not uploaded. I may or may not upload, upload those in the future. I'm just kind of hanging on to them. I took a little reprieve from posting beer reviews because people kind of got the wrong idea um, when I posted beer reviews, they made the assumption that I was drinking all the time. And although, you know, it doesn't matter what other people think. Um, there's a lot of people who I've met on the internet who uh, I, you know, call my friends, consider my friends. And uh, although you shouldn't really care what people think, uh, I do. I, I think everyone does on some level. And uh, number one, I, got, I caught a lot of flack because I do have, um, you know, a decent amount of younger viewers. It's not necessarily a good influence, even though I did I did give fair warning, hey, this is for adults, blah, blah, blah. I kind of felt a little bit weird every now and then posting beer reviews because I, I, I knew there were kids watching them and I didn't want to, you know, say, hey, you know, this is a great beer, tastes so good, and blah, 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 and then it influence, you know, some of the um, underage viewers to want to drink, you know what I mean? So that wasn't really a good thing. I try to be a, a good positive influence on the channel. Uh, I'm not always, you know, I'm human. I'm also an adult. You know, so I don't always relate to, you know, the, the underage viewership. Um, obviously, I was a kid at one point, but I also know what kids want. I also know that kids are constantly trying to grow up. You know what I mean? So when I do adult type videos and I, I talk about beer or, I, you know, I'm doing a, a video on a cigar, you know, or uh, smoking a pipe. I always take that in consideration that, yeah, there are kids watching that they may be influenced and want to do those things. I'm hoping that their guardians or parents, the people who are responsible for them, teach them the right thing and make sure that they don't do what they're not supposed to do. I really haven't been drinking as much as I, I used to, and <laughs> that sounds pretty bad. It makes it sound like I drank all the time. I really didn't, when I, when I first got into um, you know, craft beer and started realizing, hey, there's thousands and thousands of beer that taste completely different. It was amazing. You know, most of my youth, beer was Budweiser. You know, and like Heineken tasted really, really different than Budweiser, but that was pretty much it. It was, you know, Heineken, Budweiser, Coors, Miller, but they mostly tasted the same to me. You know, and then obviously, uh, once I was introduced to craft beer, it was uh, completely opened up my world to how delicious beer can be. And beer can be 
as you know alcoholic as uh, almost like having straight up booze. I mean, I've had you know bottles of beer that were 20% alcohol. I've also had beer like Framboise that was as low as like 2% alcohol. So it, it's not always about the buzz. It's not always about getting drunk. It's always about flavor. That's, that's what it's been since the beginning is I really, really enjoy the flavor. Now, unfortunately, um, when you really enjoy the flavor, sometimes you, uh, you drink too much of it, you know, and then you do catch a buzz, you know, or you surpass a buzz and you do get drunk. It's never really my goal. Um, I really think that it's, you're skating in really, really dangerous territory when you start drinking to um, forget about your problems, when you start drinking to dull the pain of a bad day or a bad situation. Um, as adults, yeah, we always reserve that right to, hey, you got a crappy day at work or you're fighting with your spouse or your girlfriend or whatever. Um, you got some bad luck and you want to throw a few back and you know get drunk and forget about it for the night. That's cool. You know what I mean? That's your prerogative as an adult to do that. But when you get into a situation where you're doing that weekly or even worse, you're doing it night after night, then you begin to have a problem. And uh, I just, I've always been so scared of drinking too much to the point where it just becomes a regular thing that I'm drinking every day. It's just something I refuse to do. As much as I love beer, it, I still do treat it 100% like a hobby. It's not something I do all the time. And, you know, believe it or not, when I go, you know, a couple weeks without having a beer and then I do have a beer, it's that much better for me. You know what I mean? It still has that luster that it had from the beginning. It's a new experience. When I buy beer, I'm usually buying something completely new that I never had before. That's the whole journey for me is to try all these different flavors from all of the, you know, the different parts of the world and all these different breweries even here just in America. Um, it really is amazing how many different beers there are out there. I'll never be able to try all of them, but uh, that's the journey that I've been taking in trying different beers every now and then. But uh, this is, the, this is the, the one I've been having lately. I got a six pack of these uh, not too long ago. This is the last one. It's not opened. I'll save this maybe for tomorrow or something. Uh, and when I do drink, it, it depends on what I drink. If I'm drinking a, a 10 or 11% beer, I'll have one, maybe two. It's something I'm sipping on. You know, if it's, if it's a more of an average, like five or 6% beer, then maybe I'll have like three or four. And then I'll, you know, that'll be one night. And then I might not have beer again for another two, three weeks. Um, at most, maybe I have two or three beers like two nights a week, you know. Uh, but it's really not as often as it used to be. The, the biggest thing here is uh, the money. It, it gets very expensive very fast, as anyone can tell you, like I said, who's into the craft beer scene. Um, but besides that, it's just there is this ultimate fear of becoming an alcoholic. You know what I mean? It, it's, not, it's not completely out of the realm. If you start drinking all the time and you just get used to it all the time, and especially when you start building a tolerance where if you're trying to get a buzz, and you know say three or four beers does it for you and you start feeling it you know and you do that consistently all the time then all of a sudden you know maybe it takes you five or six beers to get that same buzz and then you get then all of a sudden it takes you 10 beers to get that same buzz so like with anything else it can it could be kind of a gateway thing where it's innocent you have one or two it's not a big deal you're an adult uh, but eventually you're chasing that high just like any other drug or, or any other addiction you know what i mean that little bit that was good before is all of a sudden not good enough anymore. Um, but for me, it is all about the flavor. I'm not gonna lie, I like feeling buzz too. Um, but I also like feeling in control. So it's not, it's not all it's cracked up to be for me. Uh, I don't always enjoy the buzz. I'll get off of drinking some beers. Uh, sometimes I do it to relax. Sometimes I do it in a celebratory manner. You know, sometimes I'll crack a beer because I got good news. You know, sometimes I will crack a beer because I'm frustrated in life. You know what I mean? It's not a good thing. Um, it's not a solution at all. It will never, ever solve a problem, ever. So I'm kind of here to say that I, I like beer. I really do enjoy it, but I try to enjoy it responsibly as an adult. I try to enjoy it, um, you know, in a sensible fashion uh, because of finances uh, and because of just morals. I just don't want to get to that point where I'm having too much too often. You know, it's supposed to be an enjoyable thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess the point of the video here is to say that uh, I really like this beer. It's pretty freaking good. Um, and to also just kind of kind of say there, there's a bunch of reasons why I haven't been doing beer reviews. I love doing beer reviews. Um, but I have to try to think of the, the whole picture here. There's numerous reasons why I haven't been doing beer reviews and haven't been having as much beer. Um, number one, I'm trying to consider the younger viewership. It just means something to me. I'm trying not to be a bad influence. 
Um, number two, finances. It, it's not cheap. Uh, I can go out and you know get a 30 pack of something for 20 bucks, but that's not the point. I'm not drinking beer to get a buzz. I'm drinking beer because I like the flavor of it. So buying a 30 pack of you know some major adjunct lager, uh, it's just not. It's not giving me the satisfaction that I want when I drink beer. It's all about the flavor. You know, I don't need to have 15, 20 beers and get, you know, wasted. Uh, that's not how I enjoy beer. I enjoy beer slowly, and I, I enjoy every single sip, whether it's refreshing in the summertime or just tasty in the wintertime. Um, that's why I like drinking beer. Anyway, I do plan on doing more beer reviews, but not for not for a long time, guys. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's not good for weight loss. <laughs> There's no way around it. I don't care how much you're working out or how little you eat or how healthy you eat, uh, beer is calories. And if you're gonna throw down a six pack, that's hard to, uh, to fit into any kind of diet or any kind of healthy lifestyle. So that's a major consideration as well. Um, but uh, it is a hobby I enjoy. I just, I'm very focused on keeping it as a hobby and never let it become a habit. That's where you get into trouble, when drinking becomes a habit and not a hobby, not something you enjoy, but something you need. When you get to that point where you need a beer, um, that's, uh, that's very different from wanting a beer. You know, there's a lot of times where I want to try new beer, um, but I don't because I don't need it. You know what I mean? I have other, uh, other things that, that are going on and, uh, it just kind of fades away in my mind. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but as a hobbyist, as a, a craft beer hobbyist, I do enjoy trying different types of beers. So like when I'll hear about a new beer or something, yeah, I'm like all excited about it. I want to try it. You know, occasionally I will go out and get it and I'll try it and that's fun for me. It's an enjoyable experience. But it's not something I have to have, you know? Uh, and I just kind of wanted to relay that message out there for the younger kids that are watching, all the teenagers that are watching these videos. You know, if I've done a video where I talk about how awesome a beer is and how delicious it is, that's my perspective as an adult. When I was a teenager, I hated all beer. And I don't know what it is when you get older. I mean, first of all, yes, your, your taste buds do actually change. You know, that's been proven. With time, your taste for things can change. You could love onions your whole childhood, and as an adult, you just hate them, or mushrooms, or whatever. Um, but if you're a teenager watching this video, and you're thinking, wow, it's all this great beer out there, you got plenty of time to be an adult. You know, enjoy your childhood now. Don't start drinking, don't start smoking anything. Um, it's just not worth it. Just enjoy being a kid, you know? But for the adults out there, um, I do still love beer, and I still will uh, occasionally drink it. And uh, in the future, I'll try out some of those aged beers, you know, but it's just not going to happen anytime soon. So if it's something, if it's a video uh, that you enjoy watching, like the beer reviews, and you have missed them, you're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to wait, you know, who knows how long until, uh, until the future when I start making them again. I think personally, I have a goal of uh, losing a, a significant amount of weight before I start, uh, you know, experimenting with different types of beers again. Um, it's just too many calories. It's just not going to happen if I'm, I'm even casually drinking. Even having one or two, a couple nights a week, whatever, it's just too much. And I know that. So anyway, to the adults out there, Hop Knife is definitely worth trying. I, like I said, I haven't been disappointed by anything from Trogues. Really uh, solid brewery, putting out good products, good quality beers. Um, but for all the kids out there, you're not missing anything. I promise you. Enjoy being a kid. You're, you're a kid this much in your life, and then you're an adult that much. Okay? Enjoy this a little bit before it's gone. All right? I promise you. By not drinking beer and not smoking anything, you're not missing out on anything, okay? Don't let your friends try to, you know, tell you otherwise. And if your friends don't think you're cool if you don't drink, or they don't think you're cool if you're not smoking weed or smoking cigarettes, then screw those kids. They're not your friends. Trust me on that. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day, and uh, thanks for spending some time watching my video. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.